Hello guys, let's start with a brand new section, from linear regression to logistic regression. In this section we'll work through several classification problems using logistic regression, discuss performance measures for the classification task, and apply some of the feature extraction techniques we learned in the previous section. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with binary classification with logistic regression. In this video we're going to learn about normal distribution, and relate it with linear regression. Then we'll look at logistic regression and its equations and functions. Ordinary linear regression assumes that the response variable is normally distributed. Normal distribution, or Gaussian distribution, is a function that describes the probability that an observation will have a value between any two real numbers. Normally distributed data is symmetrical. Half of the values are greater than the mean, and half of the values are less than the mean. The mean, median and mode of normally distributed data are also equal. Many natural phenomena are approximately normally distributed. For instance, the height of people is normally distributed. Most people are of average height, a few are tall and a few are short. Linear regression assumes that a constant change in the value of a feature results in a constant change in the value of the response variable, an assumption that cannot hold if the value of the response variable represents a probability. In logistic regression, the response variable describes the probability that the outcome is the positive case. If the response variable is equal to or exceeds a discrimination threshold, the positive class is predicted, otherwise the negative class is predicted. The response variable is modelled as a function of a linear combination of the features using logistic function. As illustrated by this formula, the logistic function always returns a value between 0 and 1. E is a constant called Euler's number. It's an irrational number. The first few digits of it are 2.718. Here is the plot of the value of the logistic function for the range minus 6 to 6. For logistic regression, t is equal to a linear combination of explanatory variables, as shown here. The logit function is the inverse of the logistic function. It links f of x back to a linear combination of the features as seen from this formula. The values of the model's parameters can be estimated using a variety of learning algorithms, including gradient descent. Now that we've defined the model for logistic regression, let's apply it to a binary classification task.